One of the things which has puzzled me for a long time, I've not received an answer yet, I'm open to any kind of suggestions. I'm not open to many things. This is one of the things I'm open to. And that is, why is it that, that the voters apply a much bigger, different standard to us than they do to the Democrats or Republicans? They vote for the Democrat or Republicans, and oh, this guy's a little bit better for him. Yet with us, they say, well, you have 100 positions, I disagree violently with one of them, therefore I won't vote for you. <laughs> why, do they, why do they do that? <laughs> why, why do they have to agree with every, every damn one of the planks until they vote for us? I, don't, I still don't understand this. Uh, maybe psycho babble has a place after all. I'll kind of explain this. Uh, Gene Burns was a, um, a, a, a uh, sometime candidate for president. I think he was just a great candidate. Unfortunately, things happen and he never continue to, to be nominated to the nomination. He has a great, I think, a great concept. By the way, he's one of the greatest speakers I've ever heard, bar in any party. But anyway, his, his concept was a freedom train concept, which I think is terrific. Namely, he, he said this, of course, much better than I do. He said he's a radio talk show host and he's a great voice. And he said, basically, look, if you don't agree, we have a freedom train. We're going on the way to freedom. I invite you to get on the train. If you don't like what we're, you know, if we, after we go 80% of the way or 60% or 90%, you're free to jump off or get off at any time. But join us in the meantime. I think it's a great metaphor, and I think it's terrific. I'm sorry I didn't continue the nomination. <clears throat> anyway, so rates, I think that sort of thing is, might be a good answer to this. <clears throat> Nobody wants you to agree 100% of the thing. I mean, it'd be great if you did, but we don't require it as a condition for voting for us. 